My name is Mason Jupe, and I work for Playa Containment. Today we are going to talk about the material cost for building various secondary containment systems. The four most common types of secondary containment are all cement, cement walls with a liner, apply a dike complete, and walls using large cement blocks with a liner inside. We will outline the advantages and disadvantages of each and provide a cost estimate based off of quotes we obtained from Central Illinois contractors. Pictured is an all cement containment with eight inch walls, a cement floor, and the correct amount and placement of rebar for Central Illinois. For comparison's sake, we used a 40 by 40 by four containment that would hold four 30,000 gallon tanks. This system is clean and turnkey, but is the most expensive to build. Our contractors estimate the cost between $37,000 and $40,000 and stated they were out at least six weeks for delivery. By the way, this estimate did not include the site prep excavation. One of the drawbacks of all cement construction is the inevitable cracking that will take place requiring an eventual liner to repair the structure. We asked the same contractor to provide us an estimate for a 40 by 40 by 4 8 inch cement wall poured on a one by one footer. We then added the cost of 45 mil polypropylene liner, labor, five foot geotech fabric for covering the walls, a sump and sand tubes. This system can be installed in one day once the walls are cured and cost $31,000. The floor under the liner is undisturbed earth with ag lime added to create the grade. This system offers a 20-year warranty and is not affected by cracks in the concrete. The system pictured here is a complete Playa Dyke and measures 44 by 44 by 3, which will hold four 30,000-gallon tanks, but needs to have a little bigger footprint as the wall panels are only 3 feet tall. We show the delivery time is 2 weeks, but the actual install time after the excavation work is done is 2 days. The bond beam that is poured outside the walls is 30 inches wide and 6 inches deep and amounts to 8.5 cubic yards of concrete. Two feet of rock, gravel, or soil is placed on top of this bond beam to create the same strength as an 8 inch concrete wall. This system costs $29,000 and comes with a 20 year warranty. The final system we will discuss is a liner inside of large precast cement blocks. This system allows the customer to construct the walls themselves using these blocks that they can purchase from a local concrete provider. The cost of the block and delivery of blocks can vary depending on your area of the country. The example of Central Illinois we have used in the other containment examples would have the cost of 2 by 2 by 4 foot blocks for a 40 by 40 by 4 around $6,000. The further away you are from a mid-sized city will drive the cost upwards towards $12,000. Once the blocks are in place, the liner can be installed in one day. This system is affordable, adaptable, and comes with a 20-year warranty. To review the four systems, the all cement has the highest cost and lacks the warranty of a liner. The cement walls offer some savings and has a 20-year warranty. The Playa Dyke offers additional savings, warranty, and quicker installation. The precast blocks are the most affordable, offer flexibility, and a warranty.